Uh, welcome to my 12th uh, Crimson Vow Quick Draft. I'm just rattling through them now before the uh, timer runs out. So I've just got a couple more to do. Oh, fantastic. So I have been looking for this card for ages. Catilda Dawnheart Marta. Fantastic for spirits and enchantments decks. So I'm going to pick that one. So we could uh, definitely go for a white blue spirits deck. I have just played white blue spirits. I didn't have a Catilda. I had the Dream Shackle Geist. I went two and three, so I've got a little idea of what that's all about now. Uh, right, right. We, we ignore Bride's Gown. Rending Flame is good. Five damage to anything. You could just go red, white, aggro. But I feel like I really want to play Catilda and find any enchantment or spirit cards I can uh, I can use. Never use boarded window. Okay, Neville Gas Beguiler is a spirit. Maybe that's my my best option. Chill of the Grave taps things down. It sort of works better with zombies. And then you've got Stitched Assistant. But also works with zombies. Diagraph Scavenger is pretty good. So, I mean, I think the best card here is Rending Flame. The only spirit card is Nimble Gust Beguiler. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm committed. I think, yeah, you, you usually, yeah, usually you, you pick the the best card in the first five packs, but I really want to play this card. So yeah, I'm going to go for a slightly less good card. <laughs> Never got us, but Gyla. Oh, look, another rending flame. Oh my God. The red burn deck I could have had. Um... Binding Geist is a spirit. Yeah, because if we just get spirits and enchantments, Catilda's going to be awesome, right? That's my theory. Uh, I've got to, I've got to ignore Rending Flame. It feels, it feels terrible, but ah, oh, Mischievous Cat Geist is good. Supernatural Rescue is alright, and then Siphonescence is alright. Oh, there we go, Brian Coma. That is exactly what we want. Perfect. It's paying off now, you see. Right. Supernatural Rescue. Well, uh, gives, it has Flash if you have a spirit. You can tap two things down. You can basically get a... Uh, uh, I think it's called Holy Strength, plus one, plus two. It's, uh, it's okay, I guess. Um, I don't like the Skywarp Scab that much. I'll take, I'll take this terrible card. Yes, let's do it. We are committed. Um, Parish Blade Trainee, I don't really care too much about. Let's get a card draw card. Okay, here we go. Wash away, counter spell. It's got thoughts, soften tumor, syncopate. Now, is syncopate better than wash away? I think it is, to be honest. I didn't get syncopate last time. Binding Geist looks pretty good to me. Wooded window, chill of the grave could be okay. Let's go for it. Maybe boarded window is good. Hmm. Never tried boarded window. Let's go for it. Evolving wilds yeah, is good there. So red is really open. Would have been so good if we took those two uh, rending flames, but uh, what are you going to do? We we've got the start of a. Uh, Decent deck here. That's interesting. Cultivate a Colossus. That is a mythic I do not have. 
does something very interesting. Definitely picking that for the collection. Right, Twin Blade Geist. It's talking my language. It gives things double strike. That seems like a lot of fun. Fierce Retribution is good as well. Drug Skull Infantry. Sick of bait. Hopefully something good will come back around. Uh, I will take the Geist. Hello. Runo Stromkirk. Legendary Vampire Cleric. Yeah. This, and it becomes a 3-5. He can copy taps and attacking tokens that are copy of another target attacking creature. And if it's a uh, Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus or Serpent, you make two of those tokens. Yeah, that's, that is a lot of fun. And if we can uh, splash for this, I don't think we can, we probably won't find any Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses or Serpents, but uh, it's a nice idea. Right, Cobalt Lancer is the uh, zombie horse. We have the, another mischievous cat geist. That seems good, having two of those. Heron Blessed Geist is more of a uh, late game card. Five mana. The Kindly Ancestor is pretty amazing, so that gives you the lifelink. But I think the card draw is is the very thing. That is what you that is what you want. Right, got a skulker. Isn't bad. 3-3, three, three, unblockable if it's attacking alone. It can, its aura makes something unblockable. Piercing light is good. Two damage. Uh, Alchemist Retrieval is good. Binding Geist is another spirit. The scar brings back instance of sorceries. Yeah, it should could be could be quite good. Okay, got a skulker it is. I mean, we've got Mischievous Cat Geist as well. This cat definitely could be good on an unblo unblockable creature. Right, Radiant Grace is an enchantment aura, which gives vigilance. Definitely interesting. I think I like the Cruel Witness a bit better. Another Syncopate is not bad. Now oh, there we go, Cradle of Safety, that is uh, my protection spell. Uh, yes, Siphon Essence is good. Not the Syncopate, why not? Right, Cradle of Safety, Fear of Death. Just, just played with Fear of Death, I had three of these. It was mm, not so good. Because people can sacrifice the creature. People play ancient lumber knots against you, which don't care about it. I think I'll uh, I'll take I don't know actually I don't know I'll take a fear of death so I've got one this retrieval is good another one I'll do and we're pretty pretty close there oh that's fantastic we've got Edgar Charmed Groom this is another rare that I've been looking for that has eluded me until now Check of a quick crack and Leviathan octopus or serpent check. No, no. I don't think we're splashing that card. Okay, Valorous Stance is really good. I think we just take that one. Fleeting Spirit. Uh, 
Pretty cool. Yeah, you can discard a card to keep him alive. Beginning of next end step. So you can just discard cards and just have this blocker that um, refuses to die. That seems good. And it's only only cost two mana. I think yeah, he's the best card there, definitely. Have a little look at our um, curve here. Seems about right. I think I don't really want to play boarded window too much. Uh, or supernatural rescue. Another supernatural rescue, chill at the grave. So this is the only relevant card. Uh, probably more likely to play this than Travelling Minister. But not really that likely. Radiant Grace, maybe we try this out here. Ah, but Geist Light Snare is a good counter spell. Right, I don't think we have any sacrifice effects. So I'll just skip the, the egg. Puts the three scarves quite good, but I think we, we go for the imprisonment. Okay. Spirit, you gain a bunch of life with it. That seems good. Or we get a, a decent 2 3 flyer. I do like I do like having two drops, um, but yeah, this this thing's pretty good. This this common. Okay, I'm taking the Dawnheart Geist. I've never played it before. Uh, maybe it's going to be some relevant life gain. Oh, fierce retribution is good. Okay, let's take that for the collection. Nothing too relevant. I think I'll take one of these. Double Glass Begar was relevant. Take that for the collection. Interesting, okay, that's 42 cards. We did take out Scattered Thoughts. Uh, we've had a, a pretty good haul here. Cultivator Colossus, Edgar Charmed Groom, at Runo Stromkirk. So I don't own any of these. I, I didn't until now. Um, and a Catilda as well, which I've been looking for for ages. Right. So, yep, yeah, we only need to cut two cards, that's cool. Um, I've been complaining a little bit about Fear of Death maybe not being a very good removal spell, and we've just got Valorous Stance and Fierce Retribution, so I think we cut the Fear of Death. We ha we did have to rely on it in the previous game. We did only get one Cradle of Safety in the end, I think, uh, yeah, because we did, yeah, that's right, we took the Fear of Death, but there you go. That makes that decision easier. Right, how many Nebelgast Beguilers do you really need? I think maybe you only have you only have one. 
that's just it's not that crucial and it lets us stay a bit closer to the ground I think yeah I think that could work okay I think I'll call that end of part one uh, thanks for watching so far okay that was pretty quick for me um, I think uh, yeah we're just going with with this there's there's nothing here that jumps out at me that I need to include really I can't really splash for these guys unfortunately um, yeah so let's uh, go for it add that to the decks first Okie doke. Yeah, that looks like a good opening hand. We've got perfect mana. Uh, we need double blue for Cruel Witness. Got to remember, we will need double white for Katilda. But I'll go for double blue first. I think we've got Cruel Witness in hand. So he's got the black green rare land. This could be the Golgari uh, Butts deck. Uh, let's play that. So. Uh, yeah, we can go Brian Coma now, I would say. So Cap Geist could block the wolf and then we um Okay, XL two cards, sure. Why not? Nice. I guess we'll lose the Cruel Witness. We can't cast that yet. And we'll lose the Cradle of Safety as well. Good shot. <laughs> okay, we do have double white now, which is quite good. And we'll swing in with this guy. I suppose, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll swing in with a cat geist. That seems reasonable. So that's uh, three mana to attach it. I think, um, yeah, we'll pop this on the flyer. See if we can defend. Which is web okie doke. Uh, let's should we do a two point syncope on that? Or a guy slides snare. Two point syncopate. I 
we can play another lap, that's good. Okay. So I think I can swing in with Brian Coman now. Double the uh, so yeah, siphon essence on that one. And we get a blood token, which is quite good. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's we we might be, we'll see if we can get away with a, a Nebelgas beguiler here because we've got mana for Geistlight Snare. Uh, let's swing in with both of these first. Okay, uh, yeah, well, the guys like to snare that. Just realized something. Could have discarded Catgeist. Okay, we'll do one point syncope on that. this card. Yeah, so Cat Geist will have to go on the other one, I believe. I don't think it'll trigger twice. But I'm not I'm not certain. Okay, uh, play a Binding Geist. This is another Skulking Killer, that's very impressive. This would be a fantastic deck if he has loads of removal cards. Okay, I'm gonna. I could retrieve or something. I think I'll tap down a Spallback Wolf. Oh, yeah, we could just guard his imprisonment that. Uh, I wanna play a. Do we just wanna. Swing in with everything, yeah. Crazy, yeah. I've drawn ten more cards than my opponent.
Yeah, I feel uh, this deck is kind of oppressive. <laughs> uh, if you can, yeah, get that early cat uh, cat geist. Okie doke. Let's keep this one. Just just counter magic. He's going first, so. Uh, but uh, you know, I've got perfect mana. I'm not going to. Um, Mulligan for the perfect hand. This is perfectly serviceable. If he gets early creatures, I'm probably dead, but uh, it's always the way. It's an early creature. Apprentice Sharp Shooter, yes. One point syncopate on that, please. Undead Butler, that's a good one. It's not too scary, so I'll, I'll let it resolve. It's an infestation. There. Oh, that thing. If this person gets does find a wolf, that becomes very scary. Um, Undead Butler can whisk it back. Yeah, let's, let's do something with our mana. Okay. Scar's imprisonment on an undead butler seems a bit over the top. So he needs some uh, sacrifice outlets, I would say. And I'm going to be dead in eight turns to the speed down. Exclusive taxidermist, okay. Guess, uh, yeah, dead in six turns. Right, the cigar's imprisonment. Uh, I could do that on the butler, because I don't want this to trigger. Uh, the mistake is here, if he can sacrifice it now, he can get his creature back before I, I get a chance to exile him. It's one of those, I feel like I ought to do something, you know. Okay, my turn. We have a creature. Oh my goodness, right. Do we want uh, to exile this guy first? I think we do, yeah. Okay, interesting, right. He has this flash dude. Right, okay. Just thinking, uh, if he plays a creature and it's got sacrifice as a... No, I think it's exploit, isn't it? Exploit is a come-into-play effect. So I think I can sacrifice that in response. Right. Uh, oh, wow, and it's, it avoids Valorous Stance, which is nice. Feeling is okay, 
gonna take seven here. Okay, right, we will exile an undead butler. Use the blood token. Drop an island. Draw a card. Play a gutter skulker. Another planes. And then we have a blocker. I think, yeah. It's just a 6 3, this guy. Oh. 113. Interesting. Well, we can Valorous Stance that, for one thing. Uh, yeah, we could give this Indestructible. If he's got the Catapult, then... Uh, yeah, okay, I think we'll go over to my turn. Brian Comb is pretty good. Okay, let's, let's play the Cruel Witness, though. Catapult fodder, nice. Okay. See where this is going. 13 damage to the face. But it has to... Uh, okay, end of turn. Uh, Valorous Stance destroy the Catapult Captain, I think. Graveyard that, please. Oh, okay, that's going to be a 4-4 now. So I think, let's see, I want a Fleeting Spirit. Brian Coma. Uh, then I can double block the Taxidermist, and I'm going to start smacking this guy, I think. There's also Cradler Safety on this guy, and give him... Uh, we don't have the mana to do that. Forget it. I'm impressed to see the taxidermist actually uh, get to 4-4. Four, four. I struggle to do that in my black-green deck. The Lumber Knot. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So that is a 13... <laughs> potentially 13 damage from the uh, Phalanx. Okie dokie. Uh, Doom Dissenter, I think, is getting through. Oh, 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 yeah. Pass the blockers, right. That one, one will block there. I think we'll bubble block Taxidermist there. And it's okay, we'll just... Yeah, trade off. I don't know if that was a good idea, but... What's done is done. OK, 
Okay, uh, blocker. We have Binding Geist. And we can do Brian Coma on Cruel Witness. Make another flyer. Let's dump that. Uh, and we'll swing for three. Binding Geist, not that effective, of course, against the um, Ancient Lombardot strategy. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I have to Cradle of Safety to make a 1-1. One, one. Chuck a 1-1 one, one at that, and then I can double block and kill the Lombardot. And then that might solve the board situation, if we're lucky. But that's going to get bleed, dr bleed bled dry. So we'll have to Cradle of Safety our Binding Geist. Put that in the graveyard. But that will now get Hexproof and be a 4-2, which can trade off with a Lombanot. So the 1-1 one, one can go there. So I think kind of worked. Uh, Gar Skulker on here. Make another blocker. Noble Gasp is a good draw. Uh, I'm going to play a Twin Blade Geist as well, I think. He's only got one card left. He's obviously going to use removal if he has it anyway. So, yeah. Uh, when lead guys can block. Does he have a removal for the cruel witness though? Yeah, he does. Darn. That said, Twin Blade Geist on uh, Binding Geist could be quite good. We need this, uh, but we need this Noble Geist Beguiler. We need a blocker for this guy. Yeah, we can't attack with that guy, so we do no attacks. So it's going to be the 1-1 one, one that has to just trade off there. It's quite a tense game, really. Oh no, he's got another one. Oh no. <laughs> and then we draw the Siphon Essence. Of course we do. Um, right. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, we're going to have to just tap down one of the Phalanxes. Can double strike, but he only does eight damage, which is unfortunate. Yeah, okay. Binding Geist just has to uh, block here. I don't know if, yeah, darn. Binding Geist just has to block. kind of tap out that one turn and maybe um, I shouldn't have done
Well, it's life and essence, so we get a blood token, I guess. And we've got syncopate, which isn't going to do us much good, so uh, just have to discard it. Oh, God. Don't think that does much good, but I'll try it anyway. But yeah, he had a decent number of blood tokens in this deck, so he kind of it helped him. Yeah, from the Grizzly Ritual, I suppose. Really, yeah, it was just the Grizzly Ritual, actually. Okay, yeah, the Hollow Henge, Hauntmaster, sure. Nice, nice finisher. Matilda has not made an appearance yet. Could have helped me. Uh, I guess yeah, there was um, there was one option there was um, fleeting spirit can potentially just block all the time as long as you've got cards to discard. But I traded him off for a four four instead. Oh well, uh, let's. This is a good hand, let's keep it. Okay, that's quite an aggressive start. Okay, oh, we have the Runebound Wolf, okay. So the one uh, I'm thinking about here, Twin Blade Geist could actually trade off with Runebound Wolf. That's my thinking, and then it's obviously quite a useful card. Lots of everything in the game kills it though. Okay. He's going to get Adamant Will. Okay, right. That makes sense, because obviously I could have just killed his 1-1. One, one. Bit of uh, combat trick action. Nice. And it's a question of how many more combat tricks is this guy playing? Right, uh, we could go Binding Geist, that could trade off with a Runebound uh, Yeah, I mean it's a 3 mana creature, so that seems like the most efficient thing to do. And then drop a couple of 2 drops next turn. It's, it's Disturb for 2. Oh, it's going black as well, okay. So obviously the Runebound Wolf is what we want to block here. Try again. We are successful this time. Lightning Wolf, okay. You can give that first strike, which is quite irritating. Uh, I like... But this is where Binding Geist is actually turns out to be quite good. Because it's disturbed for two. I think we do that on the Lightning Wolf to make it a 2-3. And I think we play Dawnheart Geist here. Solid 1-3 blocker and uh, Binding Geist the Lightning Wolf, so it's only a 2-3. And I get 2 life. Uh, 
I've got another binding guys for next turn, which is nice. Supernatural rescue, so I can tap down my Dawnheart Geist. Interesting choice. Four damage through. Kidok. So it's a 3-5 now, because that gives plus one, plus two. It's quite difficult for me to kill, to be honest. Um, right, we were thinking Binding Geist again. And... I think a mischievous cat geist might be quite good here. Yeah, that one's getting imprisoned, fair enough. Yeah, we'll chuck the uh, cat geist in the way. Saves me three damage. Okay, let's let me th let me think. Uh, fleeting spirit seems good. You know what? We've got alchemist retrieval for our binding geist. Tell you what, if I put uh, I mean this isn't a great, isn't particularly great, but let's put cat geist on my one three. We'll gain two life, and then he has to block it really with his epicure otherwise I'm going to draw a card that seems that seems all right yeah he might want to block that in the future as well I'm going to play it too white and, and cast the fleeting spirit Probably could have held on to lands, so I had things to discard, but uh, never mind. Just thinking, if he does spend five to exile the Geist, I could bounce it in response, which might be quite good. I think we just we don't, we don't have a good solution here. We'll just take the damage. He's got a blend quick like twin blade geist. Okay. He's rolling out some creatures. Okay, over to my turn. Another alchemist retrieval, okay. So, uh, yeah, discarding a card. Do you have the double strike guy? Uh, and we can't give this guy first strike. Right, uh, Dawnheart Geist obviously gets blocked by a Parish Blade, Parish Blade trainee. No attacks. Okay, to be 
honest, yeah, I'm not quite sure the move here. Uh, I think maybe Alchemist retrieval this at the end of his turn. He's going to discard a mountain. Okay. He's going to get first strike. Okay. Not only that's coming in. Okay. It's yeah. It's difficult for me to deal with. I think just slow him down. Let's bounce that back to the hand. And uh, I think Alchemist Retrieval on this guy. It would have been nice to um, do that in response to the XL effect, but. Uh, okay, Fierce Retribution. We have, we have an answer. That's pretty cool. Now, Twin Blade Geist. It's kind of funny, I could put it on my Dawnheart Geist here. But, I think if he double blocks I die, don't I? No, no, no I don't. No, I don't. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done, but... I like it. This has double strike. So it can kill the Twin Blade Geist before it gets its second swing in. That is my theory. Because I've got a double strike, I will kill the trainee, which is a very good result. And I can play my Binding Geist again as well. Evolving uh, Wilds. Okay, my policy here is we use these and dig land out of the deck. It's one less land I can draw. Um, no attacks. Yeah. Guy with uh, a point of first strike is uh, actually quite scary for my deck. Heron of Hope. That's a good one. So you're going to give Lightning Wolf first strike. No. So, six mana, I could blow up Heron of Hope. Because... But I think I've got, I've got things to deal with it in the deck. Whereas a 4-3 first strike. I think we can afford to draw a card and decide what to do. Okie doke. That seems reasonable. Okay, yeah, he's not going to attack the Lightning Wolf. Okay, we will destroy the Heron of Hope, I think. Okay, uh, Drogskull Infantry. Yeah, that makes it out. That makes it into play. Okay, over to my turn. Okay, a Brian Coma. That's pretty useful. Another oh, Lightning Wolf, okay, that's, uh, yeah, let's do a three-point syncopate on that. Okay, 
mischievous cat geist. Okay, I think the plan is we use fle fleeting spirit to discard the cat geist. Because I don't really have a good way of, um, you know, sacrificing this. Um, next. Um, okay, yeah, let's, let's start swinging in in the air for one damage. That seems reasonable. And the turn. I'd kind of like him to attack so I can block with a fleeting spirit. I think um, it's not going to happen, so I'm going to discard a card. Let's put Catgeist on the flyer. Seems to make sense. Swing in, draw a card. That's pretty good. Let's make our syncope a bit stronger, but... Uh, yeah, he's got quite a lot of mana now. He's got seven mana. It'd have to be something big. Man, okay, I can't quite stop that. I was going to concede, okay. I mean, the cat-like curiosity on Dawn on the um, the one three, I'm not sure that was a good idea, but uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, two wins. We've matched our previous effort. Yeah, it's interesting, the 4-3 first strike was surprisingly difficult for me to deal with. Okay, we've got good mana. Uh, we've got an early creature. Blood Fountain, that's a good start. Cool, another early creature. We go two, three, four. Be nice. He'll want to exile this, I think. Flame blessed bolt or something. Okay, he's got a three two. So, in fact, if we just bounce this, it's worth a card to me in four damage. I think, I think that is a good rate of return. Sure, he wants to trade off. Okay, sorry, right off. Not 
plate. Got to skulk it now. Oh, he can, yeah, he can double. Double up. That's getting in the braid, okay. Now I can make the cat guy still unblockable. Though I don't have a uh, protection spell for the cat geist. But I can pretend I've got one. I'll, I'll hold up the mana for uh, a protection spell. Going to attack alone and be unblockable. Just got to remember it's it has to attack alone to be unblockable. He got the bleed drive. Fair enough. Some good couple of removal spells there. Uh, I won't blow that thing up. Yeah, we did hit a lot of land. So let's get make sure we got the the uh, the blue lands. Living spirit as well. That's good. Got two cards in the graveyard. Oh yeah, Harvester can kill uh, anything. Did hit a lot of land. I think this might be a good idea. Take out the Harvester. I've got a card in hand to protect Fleeting Spirit. I'll just um, Spectral Binding the guest. I only have two cards in the graveyard. I can't give this first strike yet. news, we've got through 10 of my lands already. So only 7 more in the deck. If we could ditch something to the graveyard, that'd be fantastic. We could uh, first strike. Oh boy, um, only six lands left in the graveyard. Do we want to keep playing land? I think, yeah, it's maximum of two in the hand probably is fine. Uh, we, could, we can discard cards with this. Ah, wait a minute. Beginning of the next end step, yes. What am I doing, what am I doing? No attacks. Yeah, we'll use this, discard a card. Next end step should be my end step. Now we can give him first strike. Solid. He 
He's does, he still has the blood fountain though, which is quite annoying. Can just bring everything back again. Oh yeah, that can be a 5-5. Five, five. I think this deck got the better of us, to be honest. Just thinking, he, yeah, he only, he only drew 6 land. Not 11 land. Well, as far as we know, he could have 2 in the hand. Hey, Binding Geist, that's a good one. So now he's, ditched, now he's pitching some land, so he did have one land there. So this thing's very scary. Okay, that's getting a bleed dry. Bottom damage to me. So that's getting uh, exiled, and there's... yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, sure. It's a second bleed dry. Um, resolve. Okay. Fleeting spirit stands in the way. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's got menace. So I still have to lose something. Uh, no block. It's just a little bit too big for me to deal with there. Perfect. And let's exile that straight away. That might be um, a bit rash, but... Let's do it. And then this this guy's still got first strike. That's nice because that was an exile. We still got one in the graveyard here though, Blood Tithe Harvester, so you can always um, get those guys back when he needs them. When he's out of ideas. Another land he's pitched. So yeah, he has pitched three land now. So yeah, he had nine land so far. Concealing curtains, that's a good one. So that's another that becomes a three four menace. There's another land. So one card left. That's the blood fountain, and he's got his two guys back. Play Blood Tithe Harvester, nice. He is building up here. Okay, well that's Blood Token. Pitch that. Nebulgast Beguiler is really good, right. Okay, we will play that out. Drew a counter spell, which is nice. He does have concealing curtains. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, it's not the best um, counter spell because it's he's got like enough mana to get around it now, and I get to draw something else instead, which is cool. So another scary menace creature. He's got another. He's got a even scarier menace creature in hand. But I can start tapping things down. I've got to remember this guy's. I kind of need this guy for his first strike power. So I could um, could discard cruel witness. 
Uh, and then he can keep holding off the belligerent guest, you see. Cruel Witness, though, can give me card selection. Um, do we let this guy go? Yeah, I think so. Cruel Witness is unfortunately a bit too good. Okay, he's got lots of things. He has been discarding all his lands and getting stuff. Let me get some blood token off that as well. I guess these guys could double block the Revealing Eye. It's not looking great, though. And that's Bleed Dry number three. Sure. I'll just sit here with my, my Siphon Essence. Okay. That's... Uh, most damage I can uh, block. Good game. Yeah. It's a good uh, aggro deck, the vampire deck. He just, uh, yeah, the, the blood tokens just gave him very good, very good late game there. And having three bleed dries is kind of, kind of insane. I don't think I've seen that before. I think, yeah, three bleed dries and one a braid. as well as Concealing Curtains as well, which is the um, second guy today I've, I've run into with Concealing Curtains. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good mana. Uh, I've got a four drop creature, we've got a counter spell on turn three. I'm going first as well, that is definitely better when you've got a three mana counter spell. We'll just see what they can do in the first two turns. I do have a bounce spell as well, so can bounce whatever he plays here. Okie doke, so uh, I guess, yeah, let's play the island. We'll, go, we'll just play a Gutter Skulker. Uh, fingers crossed, hope for the best. Yeah, it, yeah it's out of there. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Okay. Well, we'll uh, evolving wilds then and dig a land out of the deck. Okay. Yeah. Can I slow snow that? It's on the land. It's fine. So this is nine land so far in uh, thirteen cards. I guess, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well. So that's going to become a 4-4. Four, four. If, if I do nothing in my turn, that becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I could bounce it now. But I don't want to do that. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Uh, so we could bounce it at the end of his turn. And that might be the best policy. Oh, non-creature spells get you to start doing damage to me. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good going. Um, now. Okay, you got me. If he plays another one... he could be holding a land in hand uh, to sort of replay it. 
Now we bounce it. Because he can't possibly replay it this turn. We still take four damage that turn. But that uh, ancestral angle anger will fizzle. Right. Okay, that's another Ancestral Anger. He had three in his hand. Sorry, four. What am I talking about? He's probably got two more. Can you give this guy trample? Yeah, of course, it already has trample. Nice. <laughs> Just a casual eight damage. Okay. Um. Ah, damn it. Well... Yeah, Sigarda's imprisonment on a snarling wolf doesn't doesn't seem good. Um, but he can swing in for three damage, and that's getting pretty close to lethal. So I've just got to just pop this, exile it, get the blood token. Discard my planes at the end of his turn and try and get something. Because I, I'm on 8 life, I don't think I can take 3 more damage. Realistically. Charm of the pack, okay. It's a good one. Makes lots of creatures. Binding Geist, okay. So, uh, yeah. It's daytime. It'll stay daytime because I've cast a spell. Uh, this is swinging in as a 2-5. I think we'll binding guys to down to zero five. Next. Best I can do. Sure, how pack hyper piper. He's expecting me to have a counter spell. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint him. Okay, uh. What? What? Y you're kidding me. Another ancestral anger, just casually. Five ancestral angers. He's played five ancestral angers. He's got had it in the top 21 cards of his deck. It's not gone through half his deck, five, five ancestral angers. I hope he's got 10 in the deck. Um, okay, this only blocks one damage. Uh, I don't think there's much point blocking, so I'm going to just take five. Okay. I think if it gets, flips to night time, this becomes a three five. We need to, so we need to cast a spell this turn. Uh, I'm going to cast that on Binding Geist, just to keep it at daytime. I'll just play a Planes as well, and no attacks. Of course, you can just uh, use Halpack Piper to put stuff into play, and I can't syncopate it, which is nice for him. But this is... Uh, My specialty today. Finding cards that completely hose my entire deck. Sure, because he didn't cast any spells that turn, so it's gone to night time. 
reasonable. At least we can kill one of his dudes, that's good. I guess, yeah. Oh, ancestral anger number, um, how many is that? Uh, let's see, he's got six mana, so. Do any of these tap for mana? I'm going to do seven point syncopate, right? And I should still be able to do fierce retribution. So that was Ancestral Anger number six. That's quite impressive. That's getting first strike until end of turn, right? Okay. I guess uh, I'll take, at least we can take out maybe a Wild Song Howler. Okay, good game. Uh, what's the most damage we can stop? Oh, that's got Trample. So. Let's block like that. That way we only go down to minus five from the first strike. Well, there you go. Well, that was fun. So I think that was that was six ancestral angers he played during the game, and he drew. I guess he was he was twenty two cards into his deck, so literally a third of the about a th almost a third of the cards he drew were ancestral angers. Which is uh, that's a unique experience. I'm not uh, I've not run into uh, that level of ancestral anger before. Okay, I think we'll have a little look at the deck. So uh, this is the second draft in a row. I've gone for blue white, but it's we've we've managed the same result. We've gone uh, two and three. I felt like this was a much much better deck though. We had more counter magic. Unfortunately, we ran into Howl Pack Piper in the last game, so uh, my syncopate was uh, all my syncopate could do was stop that last uh, sixth ancestral anger. Uh, yeah, so um, the usual sorts of stuff. So we've got the bounce spells. Uh, we tried Dawnheart Geist, which gained us a little bit of life. Uh, there was an amusing moment where I I gave it the uh, catlike curiosity. Because he only had a one-one to block with, I thought it'd be I thought it'd be worth doing to um, force him to block. Maybe you should uh, you should keep your cat like curiosity for your for one of your flyers. Uh, this my previous deck had a lot more flyers than this. We had quite a lot on quite a few guys on the ground. So like the fleeting spirit, twin blade geist. I never quite got the twin blade invocation on anything powerful, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, one in the draft we did have a choice between a second Cradle of Safety and Fear of Death, and I went for the Fear of Death, and then I've now I've cut it from the deck. Don't think it would have actually helped us that much, to be honest. Um, but being able to protect my creatures more would have might have helped, but um, uh, certainly not in that last game. There was probably nothing we could do there. Uh, with this deck anyway. Uh, yeah, we got I got two mischiev mischievous uh, cat geists. So I've not played with these before, but um, yeah, they've they've got the whole doing combat damage and drawing a card thing going. So that's that seems pretty important for this kind of deck. Uh, yeah, so that that was fantastic. That's that uh, that did win one of my games, having getting both of those and drawing three cards a turn. Uh, a couple of having a just on a couple of one run flyers. Uh, we never saw Catilda, Dawnheart, Marta, but yeah, you know, we only had five games. You're not guaranteed to see every card. It is a bit disappointing. I did was that was the first rare I opened today. So uh, in the draft, I was trying to I thought, yeah, this is right, great. I will build around this card. But uh, I suppose if we did play Fear of Death, there was a better chance of seeing this we could have milled it into the graveyard uh, so that's that is something to take into account with these when you've got the, some self mill 
possibilities. Scattered Thoughts as well could do the same thing. Uh, we did have, we seem to hit an awful lot of land today in the last couple of games, but that's often the way. And um, yeah, against the Vampire deck, of course, they they have their blood tokens to make themselves consistent. So um, yeah, the oh yeah the Vampire deck have three bleed dries. So yeah, that was fun. Um, Sigala's Imprisonment is a good removal spell. I think we used it on a one-one in the last game because uh, we were too low on life. Didn't have just didn't have any answers, any other answers. Unfortunately, binding guys are pretty cool. Um, we had counter magic. We tried geist light snare this time, so this can get down to one blue. I think that's so. That's a pretty good uh, counter spell. Uh, yeah, I guess it's this set's version of. Um, the really popular cat spell, whose name escapes me. Make disappear. It's, yeah, I think it's called. Uh, Siphon essence. Yep. That's you know it's bas basically an essence scatter for three, three mana. It's, it's okay. Brian Coma is really cool. So this 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 is the uh, the crucial card that makes one one spirit creature fl uh, spirit creatures with flying. Uh, becomes an aura when it dies and does the same thing. So you want you want to cast all your auras on on this thing and uh, get lots of flyers, in theory. I think we had we got one cruel witness out at a certain point. Uh, gutter skulker, we got it. We tried. We never quite got the gutter skulker with uh, cat like curiosity. Unfortunately, we were under a bit too much pressure. We didn't have enough answers for the. Um, the aggro decks and the mid-range decks, they just kind of overwhelmed us. Noble Gasp Gala, I think it's right, correct decision just to run one of these. I could have I could have had two, but uh, it's a bit too expensive for a control deck, usually. And this time we had, we had three syncopates, so I didn't have any in the previous deck that was missing. But um, we had it here, and it was, uh, yeah, pretty decent. It, was, it, was, it was, did a decent, decent enough job. Yeah. So yeah, pretty decent control deck overall, but um, the, the aggro and mid-range decks have got some good tools that can uh, mess you up basically. Like, well, as we saw, Halpak High Piper, or just having lots of blood tokens and discarding all their lands. So they, they, just, uh, they just hit a lot more action than you have counter spells. Yeah, the uh, of course the um, the blood fountain as well. That's them uh, recurse their creatures. So you kind of you kind of want the syncopate to exile their stuff instead of to stop them bringing it back. Yeah, but yeah, it's a good. Uh, I've had a decent foray into blue white control there. Oh, we're lucky. We actually got two packs. That's nice. Uh, looks like I've got enough gold for one more, so I might do that uh, tomorrow if I've got time. Have a look. Let's have a quick look at the packs. So, right, we got up to twenty-three. The plan is we are going to open these packs after last draft. Right, I think that's the video. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching.